Who likes bikes? I like bikes. I happen to be sitting in my house surrounded by bikes. So I thought I'd put a video out there to show everybody. If you like bikes, you're going to like this video. Let's start with my original Trek. 1500 aluminum. Ultegra 9 speed. Let's see if I can get a broad view of this thing. There it is. I'm surrounded today by bikes because I decided this afternoon to clean out my, uh, to take every one of my bikes and go through it and clean it up. So there it is, 2003, I think, or 2004, Alpha Aluminum Trek SL, I'm, I'm sorry, Ultegra. It's uh, very dirty. I can show you up here the drivetrain. The last couple of races I did on this bike were in the rain, and it really got dirty. Uh, as you can see, uh, a lot of crud. And that's, I already gave it a once over this morning. Uh, next, well, actually, why don't I give you just the broad view here of what I'm surrounded by? So there's a couple of bikes over there. And we got this guy right here in the sunlight. And then, of course, my new baby, my new racing bike, my Trek. There it is. And then Tommy's bike right here, he took his first ride today. He uh, saw his dad working on the bike, so he had to have his bike out. So he jumped on his feet, don't quite reach the pedals yet, but I pushed him around, and he likes it. So again, we could start here with my Trek. This got me through a lot, but then my team had an intervention on me, and they wanted me off the old-fashioned aluminum recreational bike. And uh, they said, hey, when are you going to get a real bike? And I said, well... What did you? What do you mean? They said, go down to blah, blah, blah bike shop tomorrow. They'll have a bike ready for you. And uh, there's what was waiting for me. So anyhow, next we'll move on. That's my, this is my Trek Madone 5.2, Ultegra 6700. Beautiful. 16 pounds. It's a beast. Oh, it's such a step up from, from the aluminum bike, but I love both of them. Then... We've got my Trek to keep in the Trek theme. You can't really see it in the light. I think what I'll do is I'll wheel it over here so you can see it. So let's see. We got my Trek Top Fuel 8, Top Fuel EX8 mountain bike. It's more like a motorcycle. It's got full suspension. It's a brute. We'll come back to the Red Rider later. You wouldn't really think of it after looking at all these bikes, but that Red Rider is actually the heaviest. The littlest bike also happens to be the heaviest bike. So there's the beast. There's the mountain bike. I didn't put it up with the drive side showing, but you could see the rear shock. This one's dirty. I didn't clean it today because I knew what, this is the one I'm going to go out riding on tonight, and it looks like rain out there. So I'll just wash that over the weekend before I leave for Germany. So let's see some of the main features of this bike. You got the avid or the uh, yeah the juicy five the brakes the the disc brakes, uh, rear shock, front shock. She's a beauty. This thing rides great on the trails. Then we come over here and pretty much knock my bike right out of the water with the. Uh, Specialized Stump Jumper S-Works Carbon Fiber Mountain Bike. Belongs to Alex Calvo. I told him since I was washing off the bikes, he could drop his off, and I'd give it a little once-over for him. So I got all the, all the grit and everything out of the drivetrain and got it all nice and cleaned up for him. This thing's a beauty. Probably weighs five or six pounds less than my mountain bike. It has an automatic uh, lockout feature, so it knows when you're not going over bumps and when you're accelerating with the pedals, and it actually locks out the, uh, the suspension on its own, so you have a stiffer ride. And then behind it, we've got what at one point was, to the best of my knowledge anyways, the best bike here on Key Biscayne uh, for about a couple months after I bought it anyways, or at least among the top bikes. And that's, of course, my Quota Caliber time trial slash triathlon bike. You see it here with the bladed fork, carbon fiber. This bike weighs in 
maybe with a lighter set of wheels, maybe about 16 to 17 pounds also. With this set of wheels, about 17, a little over. Um, this is the bike I rode, uh, the Hawaii Ironman in Kona. I'll show you here. I, they mark your bike when you come a couple days before the race. That's where you they put that little Iron Man sticker on there, and I just kind of left it on there almost like a, a metal. Uh, you see, I got the deep dish cosmic carbone wheels, yellow and black, uh, yellow and black color scheme for the bike. It's got the nice carbon fiber glossy weave pattern, which is really beautiful. And also a Shimano Ultegra group set. This one, however, is a 10 speed. The one area I went a little wrong, I got a 10 speed uh, time trial bike and I had a nine speed racing bike. And so that would kind of screw me up with the wheels. I'd have to switch the cassette. Um, but now my new racing bike is 10 speed. And that gets us to the Trek Madone racing bike, which is right over here. My new baby, like I said, my team put me on an intervention and uh, had this one ready for me and waiting. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Look at that. Nice. I'll point out some of the features. This is the Ultegra 6700, which was last year's Dura. So you got the, the full uh, hollow front ring. 10 speed in the back, and the main feature of this bike is that it's the first, well, it's Durace, but it's the first of the Ultegra, Durace did this last year, to have the internal cable routing. So if you look at the bike from the front, you see the cables come right through under the tape and come out this way, as opposed to this bike over here that's got the external cable routing, like so. So the cable actually comes off the shifter and through. So that makes for a neater appearance. I don't know, maybe a little more aerodynamic, but that doesn't really factor into anything. And I think my baby boy just walked in the house. So let's get him up on his bike and take him for a little ride here. Where is he? Mommy, put the baby on his bike. Show everybody how nice he rides. And I do own one more bike, but that's my outside bike that I keep okay, in the tent outside. Okay, here I come. <laughs> come on, buddy. You ready? Right here. Put your hand on the handlebars. There you go. And let, let's make sure your feet are clear. And here we go. Oh. Now you hold on to the handlebars. Hold on. Yeah, buddy. Hold on. Grab the bars. Right there. Come on. And away we go. Yeah. Watch your feet. Look at you. All right. Yeah, that's you on your bike, buddy. You like it? Huh? And that's you about to fall off your bike. See, your feet, his feet aren't big enough to reach the pedals yet, but as soon as they are, he'll be going on that bike. And as I said, that's the heaviest bike in the collection. So we get him doing some hill climbs on that. That'll really boost up his leg muscles, his thighs, his calves, his that sort of thing. Then we get him over here on one of these carbon fibers, which by the time he's ready to ride a bike, who knows what kind of materials he'll have. He'll probably be riding an 11-pound bike. Uh, but riding this baby will get him ready for it. So... Tommy, you gonna say bye to everybody? Say bye, ring your bell. Okay, Tommy, say bye. Say bye, okay, bye everyone. One more, one, one more pass through with all the bikes we're surrounded with, look at this. We'll start with the mountain bike, time trial bike there in the background, my old aluminum bike. Oh, we got Alex's mountain bike back there. You see it in the background along with my wife in the kitchen. And we will leave you with this thing of beauty. Okay, goodbye everyone.